archive about the heretic's brand. It sounds painful. Have you ever seen the... I've never seen the heretic's brand used. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so branded. A former member of our order, of course. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer, <coughs> or even the high overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will, brother. Oh, that might be worth checking. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Indeed. I believe so. Seventy kinds of spirits which live on and beneath the earth. And the arts and tricks of black magic are without number. And he is eternal, but he has been wrong. the watchers. Trouble holding the side streets. A bunch of children playing games, that's all. Six hours. Search the place top to bottom. And nothing to eat but the swill we hand out free. Of course we did.
Come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. Now, to business. What would you say happened last night? To be honest, I'm not even sure. My men, your overseers, a few whores, maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later, Trevor's Alley is a sea of blood and teeth. I almost wish I'd been there. <laughs> Take it easy there, old son. <coughs> I'm all right, Colonel. Went down the wrong way. Now about these overseers... Who are just as guilty as my own men, if not more. But my overseers have a name to protect. I can't allow you to... Oh, oh no. This can't be happening. Who stunned us? What on earth are you talking about? No time, no time. Listen carefully. You must... I instruct the Lord Regent to burn the Black Book. Understand? Burn it! What Black Book? What do you mean? Tell him. Burn them. And then die of plague, you useless incompetent. I never fight you. What the... Guards! Guards, get in here! By the prophecies, what have you done? He's been poisoned. There was a younger of your order in here before. An initiate, perhaps, detained him. You don't give orders here. Don't be a fool. He must be running already. Get after him! I'll be filing a full report. Stuff your report, Colonel. And I'll have your weapons, at once. Idiot! One step closer and I'll gut you. You've forgotten where you are, Captain. You've no power here. You'll regret this! Go for the alarm! Now! Tell the river! Eat metal! Ring the alarm! We'll have to fight our way out! All mouth, no trousers. creation from first to last, incorporeal, but not without force and influence. And so...
Hey, Corvo. It's Samuel. I'm here. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect I want to congratulate you. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo, thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. They're all corrupt. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Attention. Lord Regent and all, all of his key allies. Living on the north you, you did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. It is every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech and actions. The state depends on you. In any case, you can't dismiss me. I went through the books this morning and found five mistakes. I know the Golden Cat, not as a patron mind. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprint. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route.
she went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journal. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. You're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. That him? Yeah, he's the...
picked up anything good? Huh. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slack junk is the good stuff for My men were right. You do look like a man out for murder. <coughs> Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there dressed like that and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. Uh -huh. 